Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Welcome to, it is still a little bit dark outside Winnipeg. The sun is just coming up right now. Yeah, yesterday at this time it would have been up an hour earlier, if that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, we had our time change last night, so everything, uh, you might say, kind of got set back because we turned the clocks ahead. Anyway, standing in my kitchen yesterday, and my phone rings. And uh, I say hello, and it, it, uh, in the, the phone in the kitchen does not have a call display. So I didn't see who it was. And my first thought was, it's probably telemarketing, but I'll answer it anyway. So I said, hello. Voice on the other end goes, surprise, surprise, surprise. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> and of course I instantly recognized the voice and I said was that you <laughs> so now I know who it was who sent these and he wants to be a little bit anonymous so anyway and I'm going to respect that I won't give I won't tell you who it was that sent these but the thought was not so much as using them for rough cutting the sprue as when I'm working with the LEDs it, I could use these to nip off the wires. And uh, the thinking is that the steel in this is a little bit harder than the steel uh, that I'm, you know, those, those prongs that come out of the LED? Yeah, well, they, they are steel. They have to be, otherwise you couldn't uh, really solder to them. Well, I guess you could if they were copper. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I think that that's going to work great. We will be working with LEDs in this module that we're working with. All right, what's with the fan? Okay, last night I came back to the model table and I didn't do anything much with the model, but what I did do was I did some experimenting with the uh, GoPro. And uh, uh, I, knew, I knew before I bought it that this was susceptible to shutting down, uh, shutting down because they get hot. And before I bought it, I, I was looking at how they're made, how they will operate. Uh, well, you know what? I think uh, what we should do is watch the rollback. Because in the rollback, I explain a lot of that sort of thing. Uh, we had a bit of a box opening. Uh, yeah, the, the rollback is quite long, actually. If you're not interested in cameras and stuff like that, maybe I'll put in the bottom of it where you can scrub ahead and we'll get to maybe doing some decals or something. Um, the, uh, the sun has just come up right now. Uh, I'm seeing it, it's, it's uh, coming up almost exactly between the two towers. Uh, I don't know how, if it's going to be good or what. I know that the walkers have gone through here already about half an hour ago. I just happened to see them again. I don't sit here watching the monitor. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll just happen to glance at it at the right time. Uh... And I, I did. I saw them pass through here this morning. And anyway, uh, I'll put that at the end of today's episode if you want to watch it. Let's uh, let's get recomposed here, get this all cleaned up, and uh, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can't maybe drop down one or two uh, decals. Or, or decals, depending. I don't know how you say it where you are. I, I, I think I say decal. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what most Canadians do or say, uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, a rose by any other name is still a rose, right? Or so the saying goes. Uh, yeah, I, I'll probably just do one or two decals on camera and then I'll try and do the rest off camera. Otherwise, I'm just not going to get anywhere. Uh, I, I enjoy... My problem is I enjoy videoing and the challenge of getting everything just exactly right. Well, I think it was uh, um, Martin in one of his comments said uh, something to the effect of that 99% of the viewers wouldn't notice that your video wasn't quite in focus. But stuff like that really bothers me. And yet things like when I'm looking at the close-up, I can see I forgot to scrape the seam off that little tiny piece. Uh, you know, th that doesn't bother me. <laughs> Whereas somebody else, that's terrible. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's, uh, roll back. 
Okay, it's getting maybe a little bit too late here this evening to do anything with the decals. Or maybe it's more of a case of I just don't feel like doing it right now. However, <clears throat> when I bought this GoPro, I did a lot of research. And I knew that they had a problem with overheating if you have all the settings uh, to the higher quality. In other words, you're making the processor and battery and everything work harder. And I'm, I've am i got the camera set to 8-bit, uh, or pardon me, 10-bit, 60 frames a second, and full frame, um, pretty much as high as it can go, at least for the type of videoing I want. Uh, and, and, and did I mention it's 4K? Anyway, <clears throat> I, I knew that there was going to be a problem with overheating. So I, I gave it a test here yesterday, and I, I put my helmet on, and I sat in front of my computer while I, and while I was doing other things, I just let the camera run. And sure enough, it got, got hot enough to the place where it shut down in just a little over 23 minutes. Now, I was in the computer room. There was no breeze going on. The computer room is actually probably the warmest room in the house. And it was around probably around 25, 26 degrees Celsius. And and the the battery was actually quite warm. And uh, in fact, you might call it hot. And the camera itself was quite warm. Now, <clears throat> here here's what can happen. The, this battery door, it, it comes off. It's designed to actually come off. <clears throat> this camera will operate using a USB-C plugged into it. Now, I don't think I've really actually tried this. Now, I would, if I was to do what I'm about to do, I would get a, a USB-C that was, was 90 degrees. Okay, but the idea is you can take and, and plug your, your, your other end in, if I can untangle this, into a power bank. And I happen to have two power banks that I've, I've had them for several years actually. And uh, the idea is you're supposed to be able to plug it, plug it in. And then if you, if you turn the power bank on, you should be able to turn on the camera. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. All right, it looks like it's up and running. Okay, now what what I was thinking of, I'm I'm just going to turn it off here. Okay, it'll be turning itself off. I'm just going to unplug this for a moment here. And my thinking is that if I don't have the battery in it, which generates its own heat because it's producing a lot of a lot of power for this thing uh, and I leave the I leave the door either off or or maybe even partially open and there's a breeze going by like let's say I'm sitting on my bike or on the motorcycle and there's a there's a breeze going going on uh, <laughs> don't worry they're they're brake proof um, I, I just want to test it out here Set it up and maybe to simulate the the forward forward motion of the of the breeze. I'll just put a fan in front of it, and then we'll just see how long it goes. It'd be nice if it went for about an hour or so. And I, what do we got here? It's uh, seven thirty three this evening. I think I got enough time to to actually set this up and do it. Um, yeah. After all, we're oh no, we set our clocks ahead tonight, don't we? Okay, so that means it's really eight thirty three. Well, I think I can make it. I think I can make it. Just just give me a few minutes here. Okay, I think we're about ready to do our test here. Um, this uh, this fan, if I uh, it's actually a heater, but if I turn it to just the first notch, it's fan only. Uh, okay. Now I don't know why my screen blinked like that. Maybe it didn't like the change in voltage. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's get this thing going.
and I will let you know what the results are. I got a feeling it's going to go a long time. Uh, I'd like it to go at least an hour to cover a, a you know a one hour ride on the on the motorcycle. At least uh, that's the plan. Okay, we'll we'll see you back here. I guess about two minutes ago I checked the camera. You can't tell by looking at the front because I have the uh, I have the lights turned off for the front, so you nobody will know if the camera's on or not. Uh, but you can see on the if you go around the back, it's a little red light that's blinking. Lets me know everything's still still going, and it's been running now for well over an hour. I have a feeling that it might stay running until the memory card fills up, which is uh, just over four hours. Well, I'm not going to be uh, staying up that late. Anyway, we've got another package from Amazon here late this afternoon. And uh, this time the guy did not throw it in the snow. Now, probably that's mainly because I was at the door to meet him. I saw him coming. And there was no problem. He was courteous. Everything was, everything was the way it was supposed to go. All right, I'll show you what I got here. Alright, this is supposed to be a magnetic, there's magnets in here, and this is supposed to go on the motorcycle tank, so that you have sort of a pouch in front of you. Put your cell phone in here, uh, stuff like that, but what I mainly was hoping was that I would be able to put an audio recorder on the inside here. Well, that's probably some sort of a rain thing. Carrying strap. So you can carry it like a man bag. You know, whenever I carry a man bag, I I uh, lower my voice and I'm carrying my man bag. Um, Mind you, if I have to go for uh, radiation, I might not be able to lower my voice. Uh, well, we'll talk about that when the time comes. Anyway, that's, that's what this is all about. And I didn't have to dig it out of the snow. It is well over two hours now. I'll let you know exactly when I get the... Uh, video file out of the camera and into the computer because it date stamps everything to the second so uh, I think maybe what I should do is before I accidentally pull the plug on it and we lose everything <laughs> I'll, I'll just shut her down here if, if it if it doesn't beep we'll know that it shut itself up but when I checked a few minutes ago from the back it was on so here we go Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> okay. Um, I, th I think that's going to be about it. It's, uh, it's, it's actually 10.53 right now because of the time change. So I think it's time for this old guy to, you know, try and get some shut-eye. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. Okay. We are going to try and do the last three decals on this page. We've already done these ones. So we got this one, this one, and this one. Which is this one, this one, and this one. Okay, I'm trying to be a little bit more organized than I was the last time I put decals on. I've got a piece of uh, masking tape here, doubled over, and it should keep this in the center of everything. I don't have the macro lens on, but uh, we should be able to move in here pretty good. At least good enough. I'm going to use one of uh, Tennessee Jim's mini Q-tips here for um, moving the, the decal around. 
or maybe I might use the point of my hobby nap. I was using, trying to use a brush before and it just wasn't working out too good. And I've got a, you know, some of Gabe's swabs and, the, and an ordinary Q-tip here and I'm, I think I'm basically uh, a little bit more organized. Now we do need the decal and this is the one that goes with this thing here so try and grab it by the uh, I wonder if I should maybe be using the self-locking tweezer here yeah where is it I thought I was organized but I guess I'm not okay you know maybe if I was to zoom in be able to see a little better just try and grab it just on that little tab oh this is going to be another one of those shots that you know everything goes wrong and I drive myself as well as everybody else crazy here no I think that's basically got it yeah that should work okay now <clears throat> we'll put it in some water here <clears throat> this is just room temperature water here. I'm just sort of wetting the back of the of the uh, decal and uh, put it like that for the moment. And I want to take a little bit of Solvacet and I'm going to put it on my brush. Okay, we should be able to float it around. Now, we want to get this the right way. Okay, I can't see it. I, I can't see which is the top and which is the bottom. Oh my. It's kind of, uh... Okay, that's the... Okay, this it has to go this way. Okay, you know, it's, it's basically square there, isn't it? Um, however, I better get the lid on my, on my uh, micro set here and uh, see if we can absorb some of that water. Well, I guess it's not water, it's, it's mostly... So I, want to, I don't want it to flow completely off of the... Uh, Maybe I should be using a Q-tip here. It's, it's more, it'll absorb a lot more. See, I, I mentioned this the last time I did this. I believe that the micro set helps you to be able to slide the the item around and the solver set dissolves the plastic film of the decal so that it sort of melts into the uh, into the shape that it has to go I did remember to press record didn't I I'm almost scared to look at the screen Okay, I think what would happen if I just touched it now? I, I better maybe I better not touch it in the middle. Okay, now now let's uh, let's get our solver set here. You know, the, the salva set, there's a bit of an odor to it. 
not as strong as acetone or anything. Okay, now I, I think what's happened here is it appears that the uh, solva set has gone underneath. Well, I guess you can hear I started my uh, my chimes. Doesn't that take you back to the Bismarck belt when they used to be going off all the time and driving me crazy? That should have been 12, I didn't count. Were you counting? Because it's exactly 12 noon right now. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that for a few minutes and not poke at it. I may not be, I may not have removed enough of the micro set. And it, it could be that the Salva set is not going to work quite as good. Let's get a, a fresh uh, Q tip here. We'll get one, try one of Tennessee Jim's here. It might absorb a little bit more. Okay, let's let's just turn the camera off and leave that for a few minutes and see what happens. Maybe we'll, uh, while that's happening, I'll uh, slip the macro lens on so we can move in and see it a little bit better. Did you get the wood drills? No. Did you get the spaghetti maze? Yes. Oh, uh, that's good. Take it and run like a thief. <laughs> See you later. See you later. I'm guessing about 10 minutes has passed here and uh, I'm noticing that the decal does not seem to be wanting to shrink wrap itself around all the detail at least that's that's what it appears to me oh also during that time my phone rang and my son wants to come over and have coffee with me so uh, I'm going to have to wind her up here pretty quick here. I'm just going to do the solve set thing again. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. It could be that, you know, there's, it's possible to be overdoing it and then, and then having it, uh, I don't know. Get the lid back on here. Maybe my lighting isn't too good. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look too clear in the monitor. I just gave it a quick glance there. All right, now can we come in with a Q-tip here and absorb some of that without the whole thing flowing into the Q-tip? That, that seemed to be, that seemed to work pretty good. Maybe I should use uh, Tennessee Gems here. It might be a little bit more delicate. 
Yeah, that seems to be working better, doesn't it? It seems like we're getting more, more of the uh, protrusions, you might call them, in that thing. Yeah. Okay, let's let that dry. I, I thought we'd be able to do three of these on camera today, but I'm, I'm running out of time here. And if this, uh, if it gets rushed, it just sort of takes all the fun out of it. We'll we'll take a, a close look at this in the next episode. I guess that would be 1923. Yeah. But we've got something uh, more important than we have to do, don't we? So maybe we should do that before we forget. guessing about an hour at least has passed here since I put the last application of Solvacet on. And I think our decal plastic has, you might say, shrink wrapped about as good as it's going to get. I don't think there's any more moisture going on there. Um, it looks like on the left side it could have done a little better, but uh, it is what it is. Now, I know you can't see the clock, but it is almost 1.30 in the afternoon and I'm expecting a coffee visitor here shortly. So I'm going to wrap today's episode up. Uh, I hope I remember to stick in the sunrise. Nothing special, just nice. Thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow.